there's many people who are not willing to hear the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's many people of every nation, of every country in this world today who abhor, who hate, who despise the name of Jesus Christ. Many of those nations and many of those people are following doctrines of demons. They are wrapped up in different religions, in different ways of living, but they will not come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe there's various kinds of spiritual path, paths that they are trying to pursue, or all sorts of modern day psychologies and doctrines, anything but coming to the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is what the Lord says about them. For this is a disobedient people, false children, children who are unwilling to hear the law of God. So they are unwilling to hear the word of God. They say to the prophets, do not report to us and to those who see vision, do not speak to us, but speak and declare to us another deception. So basically, do not tell me about Jesus Christ. Do not tell me about I'm living in sin. Do not tell me about repentance, but speak to me something else, something that I want to hear. Speak to me another deception. So they are already in a deception, but now they want to hear another one. Turn us aside from this way. Remove this path from us and take away from us the Holy One of Israel. So leave us alone. Do not give us Jesus. Remove from us, they say, the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, thus says the Lord, because you have disobeyed these words and hoped in falsehood and grumbled and were confident, therefore, this sin shall be to you like a wall ready to fall. When a strong city is taken, whose fall is immediately present. Its fall shall be like the breaking of a clay vessel, like that of a small jar. So first of all, not obeying the word of God is a sin. And those who disobey and who reject Jesus Christ, they seem confident and they hope in falsehood and they grumbled, they grumble against him. The word, the Lord goes as far as calling Jesus Christ the one that the nations abhor because the demons and the world that does not want to come to Jesus, they hate him. But this sin shall be like the breaking of a strong, of a clay vessel. So, walking in pride, walking in the pridefulness of the mind, when the eyes of your understanding will be opened, when you will come to the point when, when you will re realize that Jesus Christ is the way, you, that encounter will smash everything to pieces and you will fall on your face and everything in you, the pride, the self, the arrogance will be smashed into bits and pieces like a clay vessel that's breaking, like a small jar completely smashed when you come to this realization. For thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, when you return and groan, then you will be saved and know where you were. When you trusted in vain things, vain was your strength, but you did not listen. So, following any other doctrine, any other spiritual path, any other psychology or modern day approach to life, except Jesus Christ, it will lead you to groaning. It will lead you to suffering. The Bible clearly says those who follow after demons will suffer more and more. And you will begin to groan. You will begin, you will call it depression. You will call it fear. You will call it anxiety. And you will blame it on any other thing except the truth, which is going after the doctrines of demons. But you will groan and it will be like a burning pain on your soul. 
and then you will come to the breaking point, you will be smashed to pieces, you will you will repent, and then you will be saved. And not only that, but when you will be saved, when Jesus Christ will find his home in you, when you will be born again, you will look back and you will know where you were. In that moment, when you come to salvation, when you come to the breaking, when you come to the eyes of your understanding being opened, you will look back and you will realize where you were. You will see and you will know that you have followed vain things. You had no strength. You were The things you have followed, the doctrines and the teachings of demons were all vain, but you did not listen. But again, God will wait that he may have compassion on you, that he may have mercy on you. When you come to him, the Lord is waiting. So come to Jesus Christ because he is waiting and he will take your groaning away from you and he will save you and he will bless you because Isaiah finishes this statement with blessed are all those who abide in him. So if you come to Jesus Christ, he will take you and you will abide in him and you will be blessed.